Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu Progress updates. We're also talking about Switch emulation on Android with Skyline and PS2 emulation on Android with Play. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Switch emulation on PC, specifically Yuzu with their latest progress report. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. We'll go over it at a high level here, but if you want to see this in detail, it is definitely worth a read, so check out that link. The first thing in this progress report is a PSA for NVIDIA users. It looks like the latest NVIDIA drivers might have screwed up a few things in Yuzu. You can take a look at the image here. This has to deal with texture decoding, and things don't look pretty in Super Mario Odyssey. This is the before. Thanks to Epic Boy, though, they were able to identify an issue and fix it a little bit. And I say a little bit because the issue still persists in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity and also Luigi's Mansion 3. So if you're playing these games in specific, Yuzu recommends sticking with the 470 series of graphics drivers. However, to kind of muddy the waters a little bit more here in terms of drivers, uh, the latest NVIDIA drivers, which is 5.11.65, include support for Vulkan 1.3, and this can increase performance of some games up to 24%. So if you've got an NVIDIA card and you're trying to figure out what version of drivers you have, just open up your GeForce experience and then click on drivers, and it should tell you exactly what you have. For example, in this computer that I'm currently using, I have 496.49. And the latest one here is 511.65. If I ever wanted to downgrade a driver, all I'd have to do is just go to NVIDIA's website here, manually search for the driver, and then go and grab it. So I have a 2060 Super, and these are all the drivers that are available. I can go right down to 472.84 if I want it. Next up here, Yuzu borrows a pretty funny donkey joke and ends up talking about Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, Pokemon Legends Arceus is obviously a hot topic right now, considering how many people want to play it. And Yuzu has worked pretty darn good behind the scenes to really improve this game. So quick shout out here to Epic Boy, as well as I think it's Bune or Bunny. I'm not quite sure on how to say that. Let me know in the comments below. I've seen their names pop up a few times here, so obviously they're doing quite a bit of hard work. Here's a quick before and after of the product of some of their updates, and it is very impressive. So this is Pokemon Legends Arceus before, and that's after, so that's a big difference. And it's not just Pokemon Legends Arceus, here is Xenoblade. This is the before, and you can see a lot of stuff that's messed up there on the ground, and well, that's after, which looks a heck of a lot cleaner. Donkey Kong Country also got some updates here as well as, well, this is a huge fix in Pokemon. This is the before and, well, that's the after. A heck of a lot cleaner. And if I'm not mistaken, this was from Blinkhawk, so a big thumbs up to them. Next up here, Yuzu provides us some very helpful settings tips. They say for GPU accuracy, normal produces the highest performance. But if you have a more powerful PC, they do recommend setting it to high, and that way you get proper particle rendering, as well as extra accuracy. In addition to that for Pokemon Legends here, it looks like there are some things that are rendering incorrectly at resolutions over the native one times. If you're using OpenGL to play Pokemon Legends Arceus, the Yuzu team recommends using GLSL instead of GLASM, or just switching to Vulcan altogether. In regards to kernel changes, this does get very technical, so to keep things at a high level here, Bune or Bunny has been making some pretty impressive updates to both improve the stability and accuracy of the emulator. German 77 has made some UI improvements here, including battery indicators for the controllers. And very fortunately, probably to the delight of a lot of people, the dark theme is now the default theme for Yuzu. That gets a big thumbs up from me. If you're playing Mario Tennis Aces and you're having issues with motion controls suddenly stopping, they say here decreasing the motion update rate to 10 milliseconds restores functionality. In addition to that, we've got some improvements for motion controls thanks to German 77. There's now an option to configure the gyro threshold, so if you're in the controller options, right click for your motion, and you can change up the threshold if you want. On top of that, the mouse wheel here can be used as the input for the Z-axis. The last thing I'm going to highlight here from the progress report I think is huge, and it's all thanks to German 77. The DualSense controller, the PS5 controller, is now officially supported by Yuzu. For those that are unaware, the DualSense controller has HD rumble. 
So if you have a PS5 controller laying around or if you plan on picking up a PS5 controller, you might want to try it out with Yuzu because HD rumble is pretty darn good. Moving on now and we're talking about my favorite Switch emulator on Android and in my opinion the only one we should be paying attention to right now and that is Skyline. Skyline in my opinion is doing things right. They're doing things a lot better than the questionable egg ns as far as i know here the developers are still very hard at work with skyline and progress is still being made the latest update adds turnip support if you know what turnip is if you don't then you probably don't really care here but if you wanted to pick up the latest apk i will drop a link in the description below you will need a github account in order to pick it up moving on here and we're quickly talking about a ps2 emulator known as play this is not near as popular as eater sx2 nor near as controversial as daemon ps2 play is kind of doing its own thing right now the very interesting thing about play is it doesn't require a ps2 bios play was just updated a few days ago and we have some improvements here for a bunch of different games including star wars clone wars winter sports 2008 rpg maker 3 and shadow hearts 2 and it also looks like they've improved their idle detection functions which will help out performance in many games so performance of play right now is nowhere near eater sx2 but at the same time, they're still making progress, and I am rooting for them. On top of that, and I think this is really important, Play is not just available on Android. It's also available on Windows, Mac, Linux, and iOS. Now, I have no idea how this performs on an iPhone. I'm pretty sure your iPhone will need to be jailbroken in order to use it, but you can download it from this site, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Let me know how this performs on your iPhone. I don't own an iPhone, so I'm really curious to see what happens. On top of all of that, if you're interested in Play's overall compatibility, I will leave a link to their GitHub here in the description below and feel free to check it out. But anyways, that is all I've got for you today. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about pretty much anything we talked about today, whether it was the Yuzu progress update, Skyline, or even Play. Just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.